You're doing so good. This is a miracle moment. Oh, that leg looks good. For 10-year-old Mason Hammer from Clearwater. You made it. He's relearning to walk at Tampa General Hospital just a week after an emergency brain surgery. Last Wednesday, like 2 in the morning, I heard like a gag. He got out of his bunk bed came down and got me. Parents Alexis and Sean Hammer immediately knew something was wrong. It wasn't sleepwalking. It wasn't, you know, it was he was unable to speak. They rushed him to Mies Countryside Hospital, where they then transported him to John Hopkins All Children's. By that time, he was unconscious. They said his brain's bleeding. I just dropped and cried. A CT scan revealed Mason's brain was bleeding from a ruptured blood vessel. They rushed him. He was emergent and he went right in to get a craniotomy where they removed his skull because his brain was swelling. He had what's called an arteriovenous malformation or AVM, a rare tangling of arteries and veins usually forming before birth. Because it's so rare, you would never know that you or your child or anyone had it unless you had some sort of injury and they had to do a CAT scan. Here, you see mom hugging Mason in his ICU bed. The bandage on his head reads no bone flap as he waits for his second surgery Tuesday at TGH to remove the tangled vessels and replace the part of his skull they removed. It'll take time and lots of therapy, but doctors say he'll make a full recovery. We explained to him what happened and how, you know, he was so strong to come and get me that he basically saved his own life. And he's like, you know, whoa, like look at all these staples and, you know, it's going to have a cool little scar. A scar to tell his own superhero story at just 10 years old. Mason Lynn, that's so good. In Tampa, Stassi Olmos, ABC Action News.